Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. This month I had three problems, or better, it was one regarding three things. I had to test Droid from Factory, Minimax M2 that just released, and GLM 4.6 that released a while back, but I still didn't have time to test it. So, what's the best way to kill three birds with one stone? It's trying both Minimax and GLM 4.6. On factory but now you say those models are not available in factory and you are wrong like really wrong because factory has something called bring your own key and you can set up your own models so if you do for example with open router it is my model provider of choice and you go to your config.json for factory you just do like this and you can add basically whatever model you want using your own key let's give it a shot with a couple one of my evils first of all make sure you have droid installed you just go to their documentation here you have the command this is for mac os this is for windows and then you run droid let's move to my evils folder and serenity cursor let's create glm and the minimax folder cd droid cd Minimax, CD Droid, and CD GLM. Okay, let's start Droid on both of them. Droid. Here we have it with Minimax, so this is the right one. And here we can have it with GLM. Okay, let's give it our prompt. Create a visualizer of a Python money animation using UV and UV inline dependencies of this equation, this one, and your model name inside it. Make sure everything is well spaced and centered, nothing overlaps. Make sure everything is fully visible. Let's see what they do. One and two. So they are creating their home to do list. Looks like Minimax is basically done. Media video here. Okay, nice. He also knows what's the curve. So that, that's basically perfect. Uh, beside the name that is not inside the heart, the heart, and um, the things that overlaps a bit with the y axis, but in general, it's pretty good. Let's see what GLM is doing. One really cool thing about Droid is that it's really agentic i mean everyone says oh, okay it's obvious uh, an ai coding agent is agentic okay thank you but the main thing is that we are all playing with the same models so we are all using sonnet 4.5 glm codex etc but depending on which tool you use cursor codex cloud codes droid and a bunch more you can get quite different results it's really interesting to see that models really do like 60 70 percent of what's a coding agent but the rest it's all optimization on, on the agent house basically come on you can do it okay looks like it's done let me check here so this is minimax this is glm media video 180 okay okay Yeah, it's basically the same. Oh, what the fuck is doing? <laughs> okay, did I, I didn't ask for that, but okay. Jerem Hart is spinning for you. Uh, I mean, they are both really good results. And if you are not three blue one brown, it's not like you are doing money animation every day. But I think with good context use, specific prompting. With also giving him like the whole Manium my my library, since I think it's fully open source, can give pretty nice results. For my second eval, let's try to create a simple Next.js app, and we're going to use Nano Banana to implement one simple functionality. Build an habit tracker with Next.js that trusts you if you fail to keep up your habits. Generate a set image of your profile picture and a joke crossing you using AI and Open Router as provided. Use Nano Banana to create the images. Since Nanobaron is pretty new, I'm just gonna paste the documentation about it. Also, the documentation is in Python, wherever I don't think it's gonna be a huge issue. Okay, now we have the results. It took a bit, 
but this is the Minimax M2 and this is the GLM 4.6. The main problem in the GLM 4.6 had is that it didn't add Nano Banana. So we just had open router with the roasting because I didn't find it in the EMVs. And Minimax added both. So let's start testing this one. Let's add a habit. Let's say, I don't know, learning. Okay, you cannot see the text. Learning JS. Make it good. You can also change the color. Oh, nice. Okay. Like this. Add a habit. Okay. Let's see if I ask him to roast me. Okay, nice. Uh, what about the image generation? Yeah, I think it needs another couple of iterations. Let's also try the GLM 4.61. Let's say my name is Francesco. Roast level, yes. A bit name, learning. They all have great problems with text contrast. Frequency, let's say weekly. Target, I don't know. I don't even know what's here. Okay, this is ours, I guess. Create a bit. Okay, okay, you can mark it as complete. Let's see if it stays. Yes. Mark as incomplete. Okay. But I cannot ask him to roast me. So I guess he's waiting for one day. Okay, you can keep the streak. Let's say if I refresh. Okay, they, they are not saving it anywhere. So on this, it's a point on GLM. I like quite a bit more the Minimax aesthetic. I think it's similar to the um, Codex one, but in general, neither of them are super fantastic, I think. Still, the both of those models are really, really good for the pricing. I guess it's going to be interesting to understand what the actual TPS of both we are going to have, because GLM as a really nice TPS, it's in the hundreds for some for some providers, but uh, I guess we are waiting for Cerebras. Uh, about Minimax, we still don't know because we have here like 60. For the actual one, we have 70 something, oh, 100 for fireworks. They are not super slow. Let's say compared to IQ, it's around 120, 150. But the price is amazing. So for Minimax is 15.45, and for GLM is 40.175, and that's uh, IQ. Comparing, let's say GLM, IQ, and Minimax M2, I think they are almost all on the same level right now. What IQ does better. I think it's on the TPS side because it's a lot faster. It's almost double the speed. But in general, I think they are pretty comparable models. One good thing about Minimax is that it's free until 9 of November, so for another five days. And the prices are still pretty cheap. A lot of people tested GLM in agentic context, and they say it's really, really good. Also on artificial analysis. Minimax C, I think it's like top 10, and GLM 4.6 is here. Let's see on live code bench how they are doing. So Minimax is fifth right now. GLM, it's, mm, I don't know, it's a bit distant. I don't think that a GPT open source 20i is better than GLM 4.6, honestly. And you all know that Sonnet is surely not, not worse than Grok or Gemini 2.5 Pro. Consider those but take it with a grain of salt. I'm pretty satisfied with both models. I'm really satisfied with Droid. I think I will run it without cloud code for a while and see which one is the best one. At the end of the day, most of my workflow coming from cloud code, so my MCPs, my skills, my prompts, I can import them quite easily. So that's not a big issue. And I will keep you posted on my Twitter. So give me a follow. And yeah, for today, that's it. If you want to code for completely free, you can use Droid with bring your own key like that. And you can use Minimax M2 that until the 9th of November is completely free. And yeah, enjoy it, test it, and let me know in the comments what you think about it. But today that's it. See you on another video.